So, Chief Karina Lewin, I'm so honored. She is our president of CSFS. She's just a phenomenal woman and a phenomenal leader. Let's see, Joe Mary. Um, just like to acknowledge everybody that has made this event such a successful event. It's just, um, I'm at awe with the amount of people that are coming together and supporting each other. So it's, um, it's an honor for me to be here today. And I, I thank, for, thank you for the invitation to stand up here and speak on behalf of all the peoples that we support in our territories, but all throughout the world. So Masi Cho. So as Mary said, I'm Chief Krina Lewin, and I am also the president of Kerry Sakani Family Services. And I have been in that role for on and off about 20 years. So seeing a lot of change in the many years that I have uh, worked with our people and, and I've seen positive change and I've also seen the disparity. And I know a lot of our elders here um, suffered at the residential school and some of them are still with us and some of them aren't. My mother went to Lejac for eight years. So it's, an, it's, a real, it's a real blessing to be here and to listen to the drumming, to watching the young children dance and to hear the laughter that's also in the air as well as, you know, the hurt. And hopefully these kind of gatherings, you know, can help people to um, work through the grieving process. The suffering that went on at Lejac is something that nobody could imagine. And then 215 children are found, unmarked graves. Just, it's testimony to the, dis, just, it's testimony to what the people went through and how they suffered. So once again, I'm honored. And I'd just like to say a few words about Carrie's County Family Services um, organization. So working through the impacts of colonization and the residential school systems is not new for Cary Sakani Family Services. The organization was created with the vision um, of balancing the effects of cultural devastation and colonialism experienced by all of our Indigenous families and children with culturally sensitive services that are consistent with our traditional laws. The organization was created to reassert First Nations control of jurisdiction, justice, health, social, and family services. Carrier Sakani Family Services was created in 1990 as a response to growing concern from elders and leaders regarding the well being of children and families. Carrier Sakani Family Services beginnings focused on work with the Ministry of Children and Families to bring home children who were in the care and keep them from, get, from entering into the system. Today, Carrier Sakani Family Services employs over 200 people and offer a variety of health and wellness services, including child protection, primary medical care, mental health, and addiction support and cultural teachings. With the historical impacts of colonization affecting the health and wellness of the Carrier and Sakani people, providing services through culturally relevant and holistic methods ensures that wellness can be restored and strengthened for our individual clients and families. The impacts of colonization in Canada is far reaching for indigenous people. The Indian residential school experience was devastating for children, their families, and the entire community. I remember one of our elders saying one time, when the children left, the laughter went with them. The implementation of the reservation system, for example, heavily impacted traditional ways of living through hunting and gathering and traditional camps. Indigenous people were forced to remain inside areas designated by government. A government 
issue pass was required for everybody wanting to leave the reserve. The outlaw of the Bathlat system re removed traditional ways of governing, leaving the Canadian government that was unfamiliar with traditional ways of life and culture. The authority of matters normally managed through the Bathlats. I'd like to um, just acknowledge some of the work that has been done to um, set this whole um, gathering up. So first of all, Natalie Wooden and Stella Den. Masicho for allowing us here. Carrier Sakani Family Services staff, remarkable job you have done. I just, just the work that has been done and the constant um, service that has been provided here with our traditional healers, all the volunteers that worked with Carrier Sakani Family Services. Like I said, it was a great job that you did. For all the people that who have attended, those that the message is, is getting out to our world as to what actually happened to our children and their families and the intergenerational impact that that has on all of us as survivors and having um, members within our communities that are survivors. I have many Chislata people here today that went to the, a residential school here at Lejac and you know the grief that still lingers after years of being out of that system. All of our elders that are here with us today, we got a group of golden girls in the back here and <laughs> there they are. <laughs> so. We've got so many elders that are here in the in the gathering, and I was just walking around and looking at the faces, and you know, seeing some of the you know the the, the gazing off and the rem remembering and revisiting a trauma, and then having the healers here to help them through that. I just. It was just, I just thought the process was so remarkable for a lot of our survivors that are here today. But always remember that there are a lot of survivors that are intergenerationally intergener impacted. For all those that traveled far and wide to come and visit, um, when I came the first day on Friday and I saw all the buses from of many different um, nations that had come together and traveled quite a distance. So for all the travelers, um, it's just a, a great, a great thing to see you all here. And also I'd like to just say when you do leave here today, please travel safe. For the drummers, you know, you brought, you brought a beat back into this, into the hearts of many people here. I was, um, very touched by watching those young girls dance today and it just they were they had a, a light spirit and so the drummers um, you guys did a very remarkable job and again it was many different groups of drummers that came together I hold my hands up to everyone here and to get to all those that lost their lives while living at residential schools everywhere and to those survivors that showed the resilience to have this happen today. So I hold my hands up to everybody. Masicho, Awitza.